Hello, everyone, and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 182 Azure AD B2C and changing the site domain. When launching a Power Pages site, one of the last things on most lists is to update the URL of the site by using a custom domain. In tip number 89, I discuss the process of adding a custom domain, but if you're using Azure AD B2C, there's a bit more to it. Once you've configured your custom domain, SSL certificate, and bindings within the Power Apps Portal's admin center, you should be able to access the site using your new custom domain. You'll also still be able to log in with Azure AD B2C. However, once you log in, you'll be redirected back to the old URL of your site, not the new one. That is because adding the custom domain of your site doesn't change the redirect URL configured for Azure AD B2C. To make sure everything works as expected, you'll need to change that setting in a couple of places. First, update the redirect URL in Power Pages. There are a few places you can do this. In Power Pages, under the Setup area, go to Identity Providers and edit the configuration for Azure AD B2C. You'll see a redirect URL setting there. In Power Apps Portals, you can find the Azure AD B2C configuration by going into the Apps area, clicking the ellipsis beside the Portal app, and clicking the Authentication Settings link in the Advanced Options. Since both of those methods just update a site setting, you can also just update the site setting manually using the Portal Management Model Driven app. The name of the site setting is Authentication forward slash OpenID Connect forward slash your provider name, forward slash redirect URI. After you've changed it in Power Pages, you'll also need to update the redirect URL in Azure AD B2C. Within the Azure portal, switch to your B2C tenant and go to the Azure AD B2C options. Under Manage, go to App Registrations and open the app registration associated with Power Pages. In the authentication area, you should see the redirects URI in the web panel. Update the URL here. As a bonus step, if you're using custom page layouts to customize the look of your sign-in page, you can also update the URLs of your custom pages if they are on your Power Pages site. To do this, go to User Flows, and then open each of the user flows one by one. Within each of the user flows, go to the page layout area and update the custom page URI. This isn't strictly necessary because the users don't see this URL in their browser, but I like keeping everything consistent when I can. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 182 on Azure AD B2C and changing the site domain useful.